I'm down here at the beautiful Lane Pool Reserve near Dwelling Up. It's perfect for a sneaky weekend getaway. Here at the actual free campsites, the only thing that's missing is 240 volt power. So this is the ideal opportunity for me to leverage my solar system to help me not only charge the batteries, but to feed big hungry appliances like my large camping fridge. A set and forget fixed panel works well if you have a suitable mounting location. But for such a small camper like Eeyore, I prefer to use this 300 watt solar blanket. The advantage is the fact that it's easy to store and pack away and it opens up to provide not just one but five large solar panels. This kit comes complete with Anderson plugs, alligator clamps and a solar regulator so it can be used on vehicles that aren't specifically set up for solar input. The other benefit to a portable blanket is you can set up your camper in the shade, then unfold the blanket and use the sturdy fold out stand to face the panels into the best position for soaking up the sun. Run the 5 metre cable to the DC-DC charger solar input socket. Grab yourself a cold drink and relax. Job done. You can watch how efficiently the panels are pushing power into your batteries if you have a battery monitor system like the iTech BM500. It's a great way of learning how to angle the panels for optimum input. You can also see if the panels are losing efficiency as they become coated in that fine red dust that drifts over everything at a bush campsite. The iTech World Solar Panels have a durable Raptor Skin coating that is anti-reflective, scratch and UV resistant. And of course, it's easy to wipe clean. My last tip is one that those who have done the solar panel dance all day chasing the sun will appreciate. Always try and buy the largest solar panel you can afford and have room to store. That way you'll have the greatest efficiency on a cloudy day or when the sun isn't quite in the right spot. Next week I'll take you through my campsite setup so you can see the benefits of my electrical upgrade.